Hit that like button for your boy one time, huh? Appreciate you guys for tuning in. It's Gabos. We're checking out the Conor McGregor, the champ champ. This is part two. Uh, dropped part one a couple of days ago. We're going to finish this one up so we can react to other videos. But I appreciate you guys that left comments. Appreciate you guys that just watched the content anyway. You already know the vibes, man. Let's finish this up. This is the champ champ Conor McGregor. You know what I mean? I just don't knock him out. I picked the round. Or however he says it. For the first time in his career, Connor would move up two weight classes to 170 in order to face off with Nate Diaz. Connor McGregor was scheduled to fight lightweight champion Rafael Dos Anjos March 5th in Vegas until Dos Anjos withdrew from the bout. You know, I've been beating the drum all week about I, I don't like him fighting at 170. You know, he'll probably come in at 167. Connor weighed 169. That's what he weighed when he weighed in. That's what he weighed during the fight. And they, they wanted to fight at 55. He goes, no, 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 I can be at seven. Let me do seven. Nate weighed probably around 190. Nate Diaz! Connor McGregor! Fight's getting for five. Five minute round. Well, he's most certainly the biggest star in MMA, and by a long shot. What he's been able to do in such a short period of time has been nothing short of magnificent. Whether Connor's knockout power would transfer to the higher weight division was the question. Connor the aggressor here early. Connor came out in round one the way he always did. Connor's busting Nate up. He dominated the action and bloodied Diaz. One. In the books. All right. Let's show them another round. There we go. Full recovery. And he hit Nate with some of his best shots, and Nate he was fine with it. He heard him. He heard him with that left. Connor was already fatigued. Oh, he tagged. Got him with the good one there. He tagged him. He heard him. That landed on McGregor's chin. He got it! Could he do it? Diaz battered and submitted McGregor. Now he's got the fight! Now! That's it! He's got the shot! Nate Diaz! He's got the shot! He has got it! He got his all over! Nate Diaz! Bro, that's what makes Nate Diaz a badass to this day, bro. My son had about eight days to prepare for this fight. And you going up against the number one... Was McGregor pound for pound? I don't think he was pound for pound. But he was up there. I think he was like top five pound for pound uh, fighter in the UFC with eight days preparation and you tap him. And the one knock that's, that's kind of plagued McGregor, he's one of those dudes, he could get you out of here two, three rounds. But if you take it to the fourth, the fifth rounds, which we typically call the deep end, his cardio starts to become an issue. He's not, you know, it, it just is what it is. He, he He's a knockout artist for a lesser degree. You know what I'm saying? So... Nate was able to get him to the deep end and able to get him to tap in one of the most stunning losses of the year, bro. That I, I remember this fight. I was watching Nate beat him up on the ground and then choke him. I was like, Ooh. It was the first loss of his UFC career and ended his 15-fight win streak. Describe emotions after a oh, loss like that. You know, it stings. It stings real bad, but this is the fight business. I've been on the end of many defeats in my, in my life, and I've rose back, so I will not shy away from it. Um, I will not make excuses for it. I will assess it and then uh, come back. Rematch. And it's headlined by the rematch between the notorious Conor McGregor and Nate Diaz. Revenge, revenge, redemption. Retribution. He knows it. He knows it. Pain is the prediction. Pain. The guy steps in. He loses to Diaz, right? Takes the Diaz fight on short notice. Oh, by the way, after a staph infection, here's something that a lot of people don't even know. He had a pretty significant staph infection. Was on antibiotics until like I think two weeks before the fight. Mm -hmm. If you don't think that drains your gas tank, you never had a staph infection and you never had to take antibiotics. Nothing external can 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 defeat the internal. The only yes. thing that can take someone down or break you down is internal. Connor's training methods are anything but traditional. Work hard, put in the time, you will succeed. Just that he was oh, no. obsessive. 
about it. He was going to do nothing else all day, every day, other than train. Movement and balance are key components in the Irishman's regiment. Movement and balance. Nah, bro. You know how much I would pay for this kind of stretch? You know how much I would pay for this kind of stretch right here? And the stretch around the lower back? What? That's a flexibility you can only dream of. Are key components in the Irishman's regiment. That hurts me just looking at it. Despite many doubting Connor would win at the 170 welterweight level, Connor insisted on a rematch. McGregor! Yeah. Transcending weight classes oh, yeah. is not something that other UFC back. fighters are even willing to try, let alone succeed at. Here we go! Brutal leg kicks he's landing on Nate. Oh. Connor started with relentless leg kicks. He was also much more controlled, clearly preserving his energy for later rounds. Oh, damn. Uh, I'll fight Nate at 70. I'll, I'll 45, sure, I'll the merc pressure, bro. Aldo in 13 seconds. one nothing, McGregor. Very different than the first round of their first fight. Did not blow himself out. And I'll come to 55. Like, we've never seen this kind of creativity. If he couldn't knock out Diaz, he would outskill him and take him the distance. Connor looks perfect thus far. Connor was breathing very heavy in between rounds, and we're moving in to round number three. Much more calculated in this fight, Joe, and still breathing heavy. Yep. Even the best laid plans often go afoul. Connor is fading radically here. Nate is sensing oh, Connor McGregor getting tired. And he's starting to put pressure on Connor. Defending in this kind of clinch battle. That's all that Irish whiskey. You know what I'm saying? Whatever drink he be promoting, man. He be having too many of those during them training camps, bro. Come on, man. It's round three and Connor used to get gas. He's still my it's father. brutal and draining. Oh. Final seconds of the round. Just trying to survive. Round for Nate Diaz. And this much anticipation for a fight. It's absolutely wonderful when the fight is like the one we're watching right now, Joe. Look at Connor's stance. He looked tired. I was blocking Connor's punches was Nate's face. Like he wasn't moving. He wasn't moving not one iota, bro. Hey, bro. Still by majority decision, the notorious. A lot of champions, a lot of grizzled vets. Who do you think would give you the hardest fight out of anybody on stage? My favorite kind of moment, bro. Right here. Yeah, not, who the, who the, 
is that guy? Who the is that? Next, McGregor would drop back down to 155 to battle for the cloud. lightweight championship. Of Mind your business. The things they do for cloud, no one's talking to you. Whose mains is this? How'd you get up on stage? They ask Kanye a question, you want to open up your mouth like you ain't sneak up on stage, bro. If I was Kanye, I'd call security. Whose mains is this? Of the world against Eddie Alvarez. Guys, it took an awful long time for the UFC to touch down in New York, and it comes down to Madison Square Garden. Three title fights on the line. And Conor McGregor tonight, that's something nobody else has done, hold two title belts at the same time. Here we go! Well, it looked like Eddie, the moment... I ain't gonna hold you. I'm trying I'm trying not to pause it too much. But the three-piece combination, maybe it was... A it's probably like a four or five piece. The four or five piece combination that kind of laid on this man to win the champ champ is probably one of the best you'll see in your entire life of watching combat, bro. Like, you'll never see a five piece the way Connor delivered it. Check this out, man. Like, how many got hit with like what? You can see on his face, he was like, holy. McGregor did not disappoint the New York fans. He dictated the action against Alvarez, smashing him repeatedly with precision shots from his left hand. And then the accuracy of that combo that finally finished Eddie, that's what I think makes Connor so special is his accuracy when he throws punches. By winning two belts, he was now known as the champ champ. I won the two belts, the first two ever done it, the first two ever, and still the only two ever do it, yes. unified. Yes. There's been interim double champions, but that's not unified double yeah. champions. I'm yeah. the only unified. Champ champ. The champ champ, exactly, <laughs> exactly the OG champ champ. Where the f is my second belt? I've already got this one. Where's the second one at? Cheap. I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, I'd like to take this chance to apologize to absolutely nobody. The double champ does what the f he wants. On the count of three, I want everyone in this arena to scream at the top of your lungs. The Mayweather's. One, two, three. At the height of his superstardom, Connor capitalized by taking part in the most profitable fight in history. Pay-per-view sales will likely be the largest ever. Mayweather, the overwhelming favorite, is eyeing a this two to three hundred million dollar payday. Earning over one hundred million dollars for the fight, Connor would try his hand at boxing. The notorious Connor McGregor! Floyd of Money! The fight drew a ton of interest, as both Connor and Floyd were masters of the pre-fight hype game. We talking about a billion dollar fight. We talking about a billion dollar fight. Uh, Connor McGregor. So Love the biggest, it. the biggest boxing fight I think in history just happened what a week ago. Mm -hmm. Yes. But in reality, it was in fact more spectacle and less of an actual contest. There was no real chance for a UFC fighter to outbox one of the greatest boxers ever. Just as there was no chance Floyd could enter the octagon versus any professional UFC fighter and survive the first minute. In the end, both men made out like bandits. He, I went in on his terms. I fought him under his rules. Um, originally, the promise was I'll fight him his game. He fights me my game. Yeah. Mm, I haven't heard of him since. I haven't heard of him since. With more money than any UFC fighter could ever hope to earn, Connor was now in a state of limbo. Why fight in the octagon again? Why risk the injury with little to gain? That bag gotta go up. His life is so chaotic. He's always filled with so many distractions. Yo! Not good, though. No. I mean, he might—he literally might wind up, wind up in jail. It's entirely possible that New York's going to prosecute him. 
All right. All right. He threw a dolly at a car. People yeah. got their eyes cut and face cut. I just want to say I'm thankful to the DA and the judge for allowing me to move forward. The fame and constant media presence began to affect McGregor. Thank you for the support. Thank you. His antics increasingly ramped up, resulting in legal troubles. After a very bitter and ugly back and forth with Khabib, the fight was set. Tomorrow night, I'm gonna smash your boy, guys. I'm gonna smash. I ain't gonna front. At this point, I was so new to UFC, and I was just such a fan of Conor, bro. I'm like, yo, this dude walking like he talking. Khabib don't have a chin. But then when I really started familiarizing myself with the MMA world, I started realizing Khabib was nothing to play with, nigga. You understand what I'm saying? He was nothing to play with. Khabib is the closest thing toward half man, half beast. This dude grabs you, it's over. I don't even understand why Conor was making all these antics. I don't know, he was trying to get in this man's head. But these guys, these guys, they train on the mountains in Russia, bro. You understand what I'm saying? We're talking about waking up at 4 o'clock in the morning to run 10 miles in the cold. No lunch. You know what I'm saying? These guys probably shit in the woods, bro. I don't run nothing past Khabib, but like for Connor to be doing all these things, and I and I was such a fan of this guy, he ain't stand a chance. No, no, not one bit. Chill, boy. It was the highest purchase pay per view UFC fight ever. As the fans flocked to see if Connor could return from his absence and recapture the title he vacated. However, Khabib was a new beast, undefeated, no signs of a weakness in his game. Connor was unable to stay on his feet, and on the ground, Khabib was in a class of his own. The defeat was made worse by the post-fight altercation, where Khabib jumped into the crowd and attacked Connor's trainer. Look at him. Oh, and no, now Khabib no, no, jumps no, the no, fence. No, 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 Whoa! No, no, and he's going right at Dylan Dennis. Mayhem! Oh, no. That right hand, the wayward right hand from a teammate inside the octagon after losing a mixed martial arts fight. No, that was disgusting. It was two things disgusting. Khabib jumping out of the octagon and attacking Dylan Dennis was foolish. But but Khabib's friends jumping into the octagon and attacking Connor, who had no idea that they were there, just jumped on him. It was completely cowardly. With the loss, the legend of Connor seemed to be coming to a close. Many thought he'd never enter the octagon again. As his life spiraled, from one misstep after another, his presence in the consciousness of the sport didn't fade. Connor would return. I don't say naysayers, because I'm not a Conor McGregor naysayer. I had, a, I had Conor McGregor questions going into this fight. Cowboy is a legend. He is a as tough as they come. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. You're talking about a guy who has the most fights in the UFC, the most finishes in the UFC, the most head kick knockouts in the UFC. Connor stormed out and implemented the rarely used tactic of shoulder striking. Slammed his shoulder over and over in the Cowboys' face. And then Connor countered with a head kick. The rest was just a formality. 40-second knockout by Connor McGregor over Donald Cerrone. And then Connor hits him with pistons. He hits so him. hard. He broke his orbital bone. Yeah. Play. 
As a number of potential next matchups present themselves, one thing is for sure. Connor is still the biggest draw in the sport, and as long as he is fighting, he is the undisputed king of the UFC. Nobody brings it home like Joe Vincent. Nobody. Gee. Make it so. Sheedish, man. Like I said, man, like in, <clears throat> to really appreciate the sport of the UFC and MMA, like you gotta get to know like the fighters, the box office guys. Yeah, let's be real. Is Connor one like the greatest of all time? No. Like arguably it's John Jones and Khabib. But was this man a draw? You know what I'm saying? Like you just wanted to watch this guy. This dude was a superstar. He was like he was like the the rock of wrestling. And you remember during those peak years of The Rock? You had Triple H, you had Austin, you had Shawn Michaels, the list, the Undertaker. Yeah, the list the list goes on. But you put you put the mic in front of the rock, he could sell you a pay-per-view. Whether it's the catchphrases, the, the the arrogance, the cockiness, it just you you were just drawn to them. Cause it's like what I like to call the superstar effect, bro. Con McGregor is not the best fight in the UFC, but his draw, and not to mention that left hand. Don't 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 mess around. I ain't trying to act like that man's sweet, but it is what it is, man. Appreciate you guys for tuning in to the Conor McGregor, the champ champ. You feel me? Hopefully, you guys, you learned something. Find a little entertainment in this. But um, I'm going to check you guys out in the next video, man. Appreciate you guys, man. For real. I'm out.